Okay. Recording. I, this is going on cloud. I don't know what what where on cloud, but hopefully we'll find it after we finish. So, uh, today I am with Hadir Gharib. I'm super excited to talk to her. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Gharib in Arabic means strange. Uh, <laughs> if you Hadir know, has a meaning also. Yeah. Hadir, yeah, what's, what does Hadir mean? Roar, like Roar. the lion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> does your personality reflect your name, the Hadir thing? The roar? Uh, so I, it, 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 it took me long to, uh, to finally like my name because I didn't like it at the beginning. Especially okay. it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't my family choice, it was my aunt. But it's a family, but still, like I wanted my father and mother to choose it, but they didn't choose it. But at the end, I tried to find a link with the name. So people think in Arabic that it's Hadir actually is something is like a strong voice or, or sound. Yes. So I like to describe it as a strong sound like the waves. So it might be crashing and it might be very nice. And I think okay. I'm, I'm like, like this. Yes. Amazing. Like, uh, okay, so I'm trying to think of like how to introduce you because, you know, so many angles to go to. So when I think of you, I think of, well, somebody who traveled all, of, all over the world and loves traveling. Uh, some, uh, the creator of the Diddy Asked, which is a card game for asking people uh, questions, which is, you know, hence why we connect. Uh, yeah, and a fellow octopus in the octopus movement, so somebody who's interested in many things. Uh, how, how would you introduce yourself? Uh, I like many things. I, th I think, yeah, I think I cannot define myself because or like describe myself with one line because I keep changing. I think okay. the person I am now is totally different from the person a year ago. Right. So it's really hard to just like describe myself and I always like have troubles to, to answer such a question. But yeah, the thing that I love and I hope I keep doing this is that I keep evolving, I keep changing, I keep living, so I cannot be just one thing, hopefully. What, what is the least changing thing in your life? The thing that remained constant over the years? Uh... I think like keeping questioning myself. Right. I, I, I'm still like not in that peace with whatever happens. I always question, question myself. So this is something that's not changing. Okay. Tell me about something that you questioned yourself about and change, you know, and change based on that question. And, and, and change what, sorry? So something you had questions about, and then based on that questioning, you changed your life, your attitude, your the people around you, something like that, of that sort. I think, like a question is is growing with me, maybe is. I, is what I'm doing is the thing that I want to do? Is it permanent? I think one of the questions that I always, always ask myself, this is permanent or this is temporary? Right. And somehow I'm still maybe not very grown up towards like accepting the permanent. I feel like permanent is something scary. The permanent so, is something scary. This is very interesting because I, I was having the opposite thoughts, which is um, when I, you know, I think for me, the word, if, if, if ever, everything is around me is changing, mm -hmm. 
this is a scary situation for me. Like I'd like to have at least one anchor of stability. So where where do you get? What's the place of where stability in Mumbai? uh not much of things but i think but but like lately i started to try to find some security in things because even before i i wasn't i was very careless like i don't care about it. i would be We're fine, fine so careless so i would not even pay attention for having like a secure life like you know like right. i put i put myself in a situation where like it was very very bad but the thing maybe changed the way that now I've, I've, I'm trying always to have like a secure part. Right. So somewhere I can run to if I'm like in a big mess. Right, right. Okay, tell me, this is, tell me about some of the uh, messes that you, or some of the most kind of brave, or not brave, just careless slash brave things that you did. Me? Maybe careless, yeah. I, I don't know careless, but maybe like decisions I took that put me in a situation <laughs> I was totally alone. <laughs> right. Uh, so like a lot of things happened in life and then I, I wanted to take a, a, a decision to leave everything and try to find the work at uh, in Colombia. I, I before I worked in Colombia in a very stable place, but then I wanted to go back in a very like random situation. So I just got a a job of teaching in on Facebook, and I went to Colombia. And the situation wasn't good at all. At the place I worked was wasn't good at all. Right. Things were like I was like trying to somehow find a way to make things work. Right. And then I had a vacation, so I was like, ah, oh, now I, like everything is bad. I have vacation. I need to like take my break. So I I traveled to Bolivia. Didn't know what will happen after the break. And uh, because I was like I wanted to change from a place to place. Anyway, to cut it short, so I went back. They didn't want to renew my contract. Uh, and, and actually, it's not like to renew it. They, they didn't want to give me my salary. They didn't want to give me anything because I wanted to go to another place. And I received a message from the uh, immigration that I'm doing something illegal. And um, I was living in another city. They didn't want to give me money. So I had like... I don't know, it's something like less than one dollar was me, like on my bucket. So I went to the immigration uh, and they told me like, you have to leave the country within two days. And I didn't even have money to, uh, to get the flight. Like it was like a very bad situation. But luckily I, I did a lot of work before, like translation, I, like, you know, I worked at everything. I was teaching Arabic. I was teaching English, I was teaching science, I was doing translation. I did any work I could do. So I, I remember the last day I was like going everywhere to collect my money, like to get the flight ticket. And right. I didn't tell my family, I didn't tell anybody that I'm going to back to Egypt because I put myself in a situation that I was about to be, um, like in a very bad, like very bad situation. Right. But I'm like, I'm glad that I managed to to pass through that. But I would never yeah. repeat this is stupidness again. Like I need always to have a secure uh, place, secure, like, you know, like, because one day I was about to be on the street. Right, 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 right. So what, what made you... Uh, go to like Latin America and specifically, or first time it was uh, I got a good opportunity, so I wanted to go. And for me, it, it's totally a new world to me, and it's expensive to go from Egypt. So I said, like, okay, I live there, so I can go to other countries, so I can travel around. And this is what happened. So I traveled to Cuba, 
Bolivia and I stayed two years in Colombia. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. So actually, and I, I think I, I can keep going. It's very beautiful. Right. So, so okay, here's the thing I'm thinking about is that usually when people travel, how should I say it? The majority of people travel to the places that everybody travels to, like Italy, Germany, the US, uh, Turkey. Uh, but, you know, I, few people travel, like from our region of, of the world, travel to like Latin America uh, or uh, places in, uh, you know, Sub Saharan Africa and, and whatnot. And what I love about you is that you traveled to all of those places. Do you think, um, why do you think that pe people don't visit these places as well? Maybe because they don't know much about those places. Like, I don't know, for me, uh, whenever I ch I'm choosing a place to go to, usually I I like, I don't know, I didn't have this uh, feeling that I, oh, I need to go to Italy or I will die. Because I feel like I always can see a lot about it on TV, movies. Right. So it's, it's less, like I'm less curious about those places than for example, the real Latin America or the, the real, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, Asian countries. Of, and so it's like, for me, I think it's like the, num the, the amount of information. So information about these, these countries are less than in Europe. Right. What are things that uh, you saw that you would like to tell people about like are hidden gems for you? Oh, <laughs> okay. Some of the things I cannot say. <laughs> uh... these, are, these are the best things of after the session ends. If it's not, uh, if it's I can tell you things. Yes, after okay. that. Okay, okay. But but like I should cut the, is... the the session short. Tell us another thirty minutes. We'll end so that we can. <laughs> and then I tell you the stories. Yes, yes. Right, right. But I can tell you some something. I I think it can be like it can be. We can tell this. Sure. So I was uh, with a friend uh, in a place in, in Bogota in Colombia called the Candelaria. Okay. And okay, and this is like the downtown there. Very cool place, full of young people, hippie people, uh, street art, small shops. And we were like, yeah, moving around, and it was yeah, like he's showing me the graffiti because he's an artist. So it's showing me the graffiti. And then we went to, to our small shop. <laughs> and then he was telling me, you know, like, this is like, yeah, this is a, an old lady and she's selling here since I don't know forever. And she's like very unique because she's indigenous and she was indigenous with uh, blue eyes. So this is something very interesting. Like not the typical look of the people. And uh, the lady was talking about like, she's selling herbs and she's talking about the herbs, like the benefits of the herbs. And this is good, like coffee, it gives you uh, like, uh, I don't know, like uh, strength and this is give you this and that and try. And she was like, yeah, like asking us to try, to try, to try and give us a bunch of uh, leaves. And this is, you put it here and try. And then she gave us a green tea, something like a tea in green. And I was like, yeah, like, oh yeah, you know, like traveler, they like to try, like, you know, we try everything. And then I felt something not fine. <laughs> we left the lady and we were walking and I was like flying <laughs> in the colors. <laughs> and it was, oh, the best, like, whoa, this neighborhood is like the best. Ever. Like, whoa, what, what those colors, what does this smell? And it was coca leaves and coca tea. <laughs> and <laughs> the thing is, like for her, this is something actually is a very typical. Even kids yeah, I... they drink coca tea. It's something totally fine. It's actually legal in Colombia and in Bolivia. The coca leaves. Uh, so it, for her, it was something like like herbs. Like you go to your grandmother and she makes like ginger tea for you. It was that 
sample bed. Right. But it was right. cool. It was very cool. And I went back right. to get it again. <laughs> uh, okay, tell me something in, in uh, Sub Saharan Africa. Hmm. I went to Kenya and Ghana only. Not much. I stayed for uh, months also in Morocco, but this is in the north. Something from Sub Saharan Africa. Uh, something like again hidden. Uh, whatever you want, whatever you want, like people to know about your travels there. Or like, mm. it puts the northern way again in the hidden gems, like things when you're like, oh, it's it's strange that not too many people know about this. This is quite cool. Okay. Yeah, like I don't know, but uh, Kenya was was very. Uh... So the thing is, Kenya is very famous for the safari, and everybody knows about this. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's like I don't know, but it's something. Maybe yeah, like every it, it's known, it's in movies and everything. But actually, when you're in that in the moment of doing, like in the situation of doing safari. Uh, maybe it's my it's my own experience, and I don't know about others. But you know, I was that close to uh, uh, like lion while they are eating, uh, and then you 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 hear the cracks of the the bones of the animal, smell the blood. Wow! And if I'm if I'm telling, I don't know, like if I'm describing this, I don't know how do you feel, but maybe do you feel it's like brutal, it's uh, violent? I don't know. You smell the. I saw the first thing. The, is, the blood has the smell. blood of the animal. Yeah, and even you know, like they were eating, so the cracks of the bones. So you, you hear all this. Wow. And they're like they eating in a very peaceful way. The thing that usually, like I even like went vegan for some like part of my life for this, but at that moment. I didn't feel like it's something not normal at all. It felt so normal. It felt like very peaceful time, like you know, like a family eating breakfast on Friday. Right, 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 right. It was it was very peaceful. However, what they are doing, it's something that we are not familiar to, maybe. Yes, yes, yeah. But it was yeah. Um I wasn't scared at all. This was huh? weird also. I wasn't scared at all from the animals. I right. felt like it was family. Let's um, let's go a bit to Didi Asks. Tell me about the story of Didi Asks. Okay. So in, in 2017, uh, I was working in a good place. But I think the work took most of my life, so I didn't like I didn't have like much of time to meet people. And then when we were meeting, it was just like complaining about Cairo uh, crowdness, about the work, and like we're not really talking. And uh, let's say it was very miserable at the point that I wanted to get notification on Facebook. I will <laughs> that's the low that's the lowest level of depression <laughs> <laughs> so i posted a silly question on facebook and yeah, let's see what will happen and then people were interacting and then i was like yeah. okay i have my own questions in my mind so i can maybe i share my questions with the people and i was asking like a bit and then the people were interacting. And then it looked like people wanted a place to interact. Right. Or people wanted to be asked. Right. Uh, and then uh, something happened. So I moved uh, to Morocco and I was staying in a house in the, on the highway, just looking to the ocean. And there was actually minimal work to be done in that place. So I would spend 
most of the time alone, <laughs> doing nothing but staring at the ocean or for example, taking the bike to go to somewhere to get like, because it was like very primitive. So you get the water from a well, you get things like that. Uh, so I think I, I, I left alone with my mind a lot. So I created more questions or like I was, I had the space to question and question. And I always wanted to share the questions with people because um, I don't know, but I, I, I have never wanted to get an answer, but I like the questions themselves. So I feel like, again, this is the thing. I don't want a, a specific answer because maybe tomorrow it will be changed. Mm, interesting. There's, there's no permanent answer. We change situation, change or knowledge change. So, so that's why it was like motivating me to ask the question to the people and listen to different answers. Um, and then in another time in my life, I was broke. I didn't have job, so I wanted to create any business. And it was this: I can, I can create a game. So I created the game. Uh, I was uh, giving more effort on it uh, during the Corona, the start of the lockdown, and it went well. But then now I just doing it for fun. So again, I'm posting the question only on Facebook, just for like sharing whatever I have. Right. I think I'm gonna buy this uh, set once we're uh, we're done. Send it it's, you. It's huh? I will send it to you. Yes. Because uh, it's, uh, it's it looks very interesting and uh, it's good when like in social situations to have like something to hold. Uh, mm -hmm. So do, do you find there's a kind of a relationship between you liking and loving questions and asking them in, in, in social situations and your work as a clinical researcher? I think, I think asking questions is is very helpful in many ways. In clinical research, for sure you need to ask a lot. Actually, you start the whole thing with a question. Would that work? Is it safe? So it's a question. And then you go like deeper inside. I, I remember you were talking about something about the six why, something like that. You say why and why and why. Yeah, and why. yeah, I, 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 yeah. You see, I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember talking about it in, in, in a post, but yeah, it's something that I will... It was in Clubhouse. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So Man, the thing yeah, is, uh, like, it was very... You studied well. Very... You studied my notes well. So, uh, yeah, so it's a question. I think it's helpful. It's helpful at work or, or even in life and with people. So I was talking with a, I don't know if this is so personal to tell, but anyway, so I was talking to a friend before I was the, and then we were talking about relationships. And then I, like, I don't know the longest relationship I have been in, it was two months, but I was able to know the person completely. Right. <laughs> it was two months. And I, I think the person was able to know me. Because the question helps you to really unreveal the person. Right. Or to connect or to, I don't know, like reveal thoughts, something like that. Right. So it's, it's something important in all aspects of my, of my life. That is something that I noticed as well, that some people the, the, uh, in my life, like the, the amount, the number of hours I spent with them, is not a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But I know yes. that on a very deep level because through the very limited time that we have, we really de delved really deep. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, so here's, here's something that I'm uh, grappling with. So if you have like so many questions, like both of us do have so many questions, how do you prioritize between them, like how do we, I have now like, for you, I have these questions, okay, these questions. And then there's an Excel sheet for the, uh, for the questions as well. 
how do you, and I'm thinking like, what would be a good way to prioritize uh, the questions? I don't know, like I'm not uh, very uh, like uh, a person like, yeah, maybe my maybe my way is like um, I would start with the question that keep haunting my mind. Okay. Yeah. What is the question that's in your mind now? Um. Again, I don't. I don't uh, it's kind of crisis now, but anyway, so I am actually, right. I keep, uh, I'm trying to wake up myself or I'm reminding myself, don't, uh, yeah, don't let whatever around you uh, chain you, like putting a chain on you. So don't stay in that point don't like lose the uh, yourself in in the surroundings right so i i keep asking myself ah you're enjoying this but this you will enjoy in the coming time so it's more like questions like that it's like a lot a lot of questions but all is like around that don't lose yourself in this moment, don't don't stay long in that situation. Things like that. Right, right. How? Uh, okay, tell me. Did any of the questions that you asked, whether uh, on Facebook or through the game, led to something major in someone someone else's life? <laughs> uh. Actually, there were many things. So when you when you when you told me, but like there were like three major things came to my mind. At first, I actually I thought that you were you would ask a question that like if I if there was a question I asked and then I was moved a lot about the, the answers. Oh, well, that's that's the <laughs> question. After that, I was going to ask this. Just, okay, uh, because I felt like you ask this thing and then something came to my mind. But the thing is, like, uh, okay, so um, something major in my life. No. To be honest. Ah hmm. uh, no. What? You were you were, you were about to As they, say something. Your life or someone else's life. So you. Okay. Be... Okay. Sorry. Someone's. Okay. So um, I don't know if I can talk about this, but um, like. There was someone that actually wanted to to end uh, and some people yeah, to end uh, their life, and then the question created a link somehow or a trust that the person uh, wanted to to tell me that thing. Uh, I, uh, for sure, for sure, I'm not like, a, I, it's not like question changes this thing, but I don't know, maybe it raised questions to the person, why, I, like the person himself, like started to question himself. So this is something. Oh, wow, that's, that's uh, quite a story. Yeah, yeah, even if it's uh, kind of a trick. Um... It's, 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 it's very sensitive and it was strong. And... It was what? It wasn't easy. It's strong. Yeah. It wasn't easy. It was yes. like I don't know, but it wasn't easy. And, and the with the uh, with the card games, or was it on Facebook, or what? Uh, it was first. So this person I didn't know before, but I was like, I I met this person through a person, a friend, and I was like, you know, like I created this thing. Do you want to try? <laughs> and then we started to and. And then, and then I was even asking question outside the, the cards, and uh, then uh, like I I, I got the, the person uh, contacts over Facebook. So and then this person told me this. Oh, was like, oh my god! Uh, so it was also very scary that he trusted me. 
like in a short time. Right. It was also scary in that uh, matter. Right, right, right. Uh, I don't know, Bordo, if I can say that or not, but a lot of people actually uh, became relationships with the game. <laughs> Really? Yeah, a lot of, yeah, yeah. Uh, when they feel with each other. Really. Yes, they get oh, to know wow. each other. They know each other more. And some people, like, I was also doing a lot of play tests. So I would invite random people. Or someone will tell me, oh, I will bring a friend. And then I, and then after they, they leave, we hear something. So, so it, it was a good thing. <laughs> it didn't okay. work for me, but it worked for others. <laughs> Wow. So okay. cool. What do you mean it didn't work for you? It worked the other way for me. <laughs> uh, okay, it ended the relationship. Okay. So uh, this is something. And also, to be honest, this is the thing, the first thing I was about to tell you is that uh, many questions actually comes from like a situation I'm living. Right. So, <laughs> so, so. The answers actually uh, let me like guide my thinking somehow or like open something in my mind. Right. Or yeah, so it actually yeah, it, it 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 affects. Yeah. What what's what okay, what's a question? Uh let's let's go to the other way now. What's the question that somebody asked you and you're like, oh wow, this is no. <sighs> everything is on your mind is you can't share i feel like every question i ask is like i can't share this uh, no no no. there's like whatever comes to my mind believe me i share and this is like this is a problem <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but this is me a question asked to me, and uh, and what? That made you like that was very powerful to you. That made you like, oh wow, I didn't think of that before, or it changed your your life in some way. I think I need to think about this. Take your time. But but yeah, maybe maybe it was it wasn't one question, but like it was multiple questions, and it led to something. <laughs> Like weird. So it's a story, like, so I was in uh, Bolivia and then they have this Tuanaku place. It's a place, uh, it's like an old civilization that was very sophisticated and then disappeared. And uh, I was doing this alone. And then there I met uh, an Italian girl. And then I was like, uh, she wanted to, to go back to the market when we were like, uh, and that she wanted to go to, to the market to grab things. And then I, I actually met some very cool, like real hippies people, hippie. So I was like, ah, I know someone, he has a place. Anyway, we were we were having coffee and uh, and then I don't know why. I was I was I was normal at this time. I was normal. I was it has it was like um okay. <laughs> So you remember I told you that I want to, I, do, I took a decision that I really want to leave where I was and go to Colombia without planning much. Okay. Mm. So I, I had like, <laughs> like a kind of bad situation at home. So I wanted to leave. Okay. Yeah. So, and then after time, I was like, ah, I was healing and blah, 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 blah. and then I met this girl in Bolivia and drinking coffee. And just like chatting about wow, how Tiwanaku was awesome. And then she started to ask questions, questions, questions. Tell we reached that I have a childhood trauma. Okay. Wow. And uh, she's sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. 
she's a healer so she it, يعني, she knows what she, she was doing and uh, she she taught me an exercise how to actually go back to this child me and uh, like to to have peace with the situation in it. and and this helped a lot actually this helped a lot this helped a lot with myself with my family home so so i, I don't know but so it was like we were just a chatting asking question normally and then her question led to something it was unexpected and you and it totally changed my life by the way like not totally but like yeah changed the big part of my life okay so you wow and you you, you remembered something that wasn't there is that you didn't okay let me sorry sorry not remember did you remember something that before that you didn't remember? When she was asked, no, it wasn't like I didn't remember, like, because what happened uh, before I, I left this, I left what happened, but I didn't connect the dots to know that this is what making me this person now. Right. Okay. Uh, should we go deeper but <laughs> i think i had a kind of problem of believing that i can receive love like you know like those kind of childhood right. trauma problem yeah so i started to yeah like oh that's why that's why so it was like this it was a eureka moment yes okay so What's the question that you would like to be asked? I love all questions. <laughs> I can't say that, no? You, you can. I mean, if... I have to pick one question. If you want, if, 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 have you kind of like, I wish somebody would ask me this. Have you ever had... But, 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 but you know what? I really, really, really love to be asked okay. and it's not happening as I want. People don't ask me questions. <laughs> really? Interesting. And even, yeah, and even if I'm, I don't know, look, also be because I become the person with the question mark over her head. So whenever I'm going with people, they just expect me to ask. And, uh, okay. And you know, even many times I don't I don't answer my questions. And I don't like to answer my questions actually, but still like hi people, you're not interested in my answer. But I'm I'm not asked much, like I'm not asked right. as I want. Okay. So whatever question I will be happy. You came so to that's the why I was person. very I was very excited for this uh, meeting. <laughs> very, very you came excited. To the person. Do you think that some people are annoyed by by I, this is something that I experienced that not everybody is, likes this idea of connecting through questions. Some people find me like, like, what well, they, I don't know how to say it, like, they just, I remember yes, someone yes. explicitly is like, I, I just don't like um, people ask questions. That was ex literally what she said. But yeah, anyways. She said what? What was the question? She was say she she's one of those people who like have a list of um actually she's the only one I know. She always tells tells you the things that she doesn't like. Uh, okay. and one of the things that she doesn't like is people who ask questions. Okay. Uh, so I thought it's like okay, we will have a very difficult relationship. Uh so yeah, uh so. Do you feel, and especially also like in business contexts, uh, in other in other situations like where, where like the emphasis is on action, some people might not like, you know, a lot of questions. So have you experienced that where like people are not super happy about? Um. Yes, and, and it was in a way that at the beginning, usually at the beginning, I guess people are curious to 
see what, okay. So they want to know you about your questions. So they would react well with your questions. But then with time, they don't want to, to interact. And in business setting, I guess people don't want questions, especially like our type of questions, because they don't want to show much of their self. They want to show just one side. And then questions uh, obligate them to show other sides if they want to, like if they are answering the honestly. Right, right. So it's not very appreciated. Right, right. No, but, but just to be clear, like, I think the majority, well, I don't know if the majority, but lots of people are like, which is, uh, we're like very kind of intrigued by this way of connecting with other, others, which is asking questions, which is, I guess, the idea behind the podcast is that in, in my usual social situations, I, I connect with people through asking questions. And it's, it's kind of strange that people find it weird or not weird, like something new, like, mm -hmm. or find it new that I'm listening to them. Like I say, oh, you listen. I'm like, yeah, but isn't this the default that everybody should listen when you're talking? Mm -hmm. uh, so I discovered later on that listening to people and you know being curious about what people have to say is not that common. Uh, so yeah, that's a speech. That's not a question. I'm sorry. Uh, so okay, if you had the choice to um, facilitate a conversation between any two people in the world, who would you choose? Uh, Living or dead? Okay, perfect. So I would pick uh, one of the old uh, Arabic scientists, like you know, Hassan ibn al Haytham, uh, whoever of those people that right. they have like multi uh, fields and disciplinary. So they are Pol like they do art and they, are, they, are, they do a lot of things. Yeah. And uh, some someone like uh, oh, what is the name? Steve Jobs or uh, Elon Musk, somebody of those people. I just want to see <laughs> how it how each will like. I feel like those are very specific, and those are like swimming in in a sea. So I I want to see how they will interact and answering certain questions. Especially that this one is coming from the, like the present or the future, and this one coming from the um, like the past, and right. how they will react. Yeah, I think something like that. Give Give me a question that will ask. Mm, okay. You know, now I'm seeing questions flying. <laughs> I need to grab one. Uh, no, but like, I, I would like to start with things like very, very, uh, you know, like something, something stupid. Like if you were going to create a dream, like make a dream that we, when we see that we see like, yeah, I should so design a dream that you will, you, you will have. So I would like to see this person how he will design the dream. Or maybe he didn't see the 3D and those kind of things. And then the other person how they will design the dream. So it's something like that. Mm. Right, right. Okay, so I think now we get to the to the time where you ask the question uh, and we'll wrap it up. Because I want to know the uh, the story. Yeah, the story that you couldn't say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't prepare a question to you. You don't need to prepare. So questions, a question coming from, from this. Uh, when was the, the moment that you felt you needed to cut your wings? 
Ooh. <laughs> when was I'm having the same issue now that you're having, which is like, can I say that? Uh, uh, live or not? So let me. I have a specific moment. Okay, so I'm gonna use the whole very vague uh, without you know specifying you know, names or or events. Yes. It's it here, but I just need to know how to formulate it. Okay. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so I was in a situation where I was trying really hard to please someone, um, like really, and like a, putting a lot of effort, a lot of effort, and um, I discovered that you know I I discovered that there's like nothing I can do can please that person. Everything is the, 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 the point where like everything snapped is when they um, I asked a question, I asked a question that was innocent and and they kind of snapped because of this question. Uh, so I like lost it. I lost it completely because we were in a celebratory kind of happy moment. Uh, and the reaction was weird because of you know an innocent, innocent question I asked. From so from that moment, from that time, uh, I said, you know, this is this is not working. Like this is this relationship is not working, and I, and then we, like I kind of changed the dynamics of the relationship. Doesn't really have, I don't know if it's it's yeah, maybe after the the, the recording finishes, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, always a pleasure. Thank you. Interact with you. Uh, and now I'm going to cut this so that we can get to the story. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stop recording. And. <laughs>